<clears throat> Alright Asad, you edit this however you think. Great chat on Skype, man. I think this is going to be great. I think the TED video, mm, such a good idea. Okay, here we go. Three, two. Hey students, it's Vin, it's me again. Guys, I'm so excited about teaching you guys uh, technical skills and showmanship here on the channel. And I thought the first video, because there was so much talk about showmanship and a lot of you guys mentioned about my voice and like, oh, cool, your voice. Hey, thank you for the compliments. I super appreciate it. It took me two years of singing training to get my voice the way it is. But I thought the first video, let me share with you my TED talk. I think this talk is gonna add a ton of value. It's gonna help you improve your performance, taking it from here to a whole new level. Guys, I hope you enjoy this TED Talk. See you guys very soon. Right, so right now you're probably thinking, oh, he didn't fulfill the Asian prophecy. <laughs> he didn't become an accountant, a lawyer, or a doctor. My goodness, I wonder what his parents are thinking. <laughs> what did his dad say when he told them he wanted to be a magician? I'll tell you what dad said. Dad uh, looks at me and goes, what the hell, you want to be the Harry Potter? Hang <laughs> oh, and, um, <laughs> and then he said, don't worry, honey, don't worry. We kill this boy, okay? We make another one tonight. Don't worry. No, don't laugh too hurts. That hurts my feelings. That's funny. Enough about me, okay? Today is all about you, not about me. So uh, I'm a magician. To give you context for uh, this afternoon, magicians have been around for a long time. But during the mid-1800s, Magic became an extremely popular form of entertainment that was generally accepted by the general public. And since then till now, it's been 150 years over that, and magicians all over the world for thousands of years, hundreds of years, I do get that wrong. But here's the thing, for over 150 years, magicians have actually entertained billions of people all over the world, right? Now I guarantee you, every single one of you in this room has seen a magician perform in some way, shape or form. But there's something you've never, ever seen a magician do. You've never seen a magician practice. The way a magician practices is truly profound. If I could share with you this formula today, it would give you an understanding how to take your presentation ability from where it is to a whole new level. Magicians are masters at showmanship and presentation. And that's what I'm going to share with you today, that formula. So here's the thing, I do need somebody to join me on stage. I'm going to ask somebody just uh, up close. And if, do you mind just joining me on stage just for a moment? Do you mind? Please give a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, a big round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate that. And uh, we're just going to invite you over here with the camera. And look, I, just, we're not related. Um, I'm just... <laughs> so, I could sense it from the room. But if you could just uh, stand over here. Just, just stand over here if you don't mind. Just, just right here. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to show you, when magicians practice, there are three things they have to keep in mind. The first thing is called sight, second thing is called sound, and the last thing is called sync. Three things. So I'm going to explain them one at a time. So the first thing is, uh, is sight, and you're the closest, so I want you to make sure this is, this is all real. Okay? So do watch this sight, we have to make sure it looks real as possible. Watch. This is the two of spades, clubs. Don't take your eyes off it. Once, twice if I shake it, comes to ten. So here's the thing, magicians have to practice immensely in order to improve. So, hey, you okay? Yeah. I think so. Right? Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> magicians have to practice immensely in order to get the sight right. Okay, it's still very difficult. It's something we practice every single day. But sight isn't the only thing we have to focus on. We have to focus on the sound. So sound, I'll explain to you exactly what sound means. Sound is what we say and how we say it. So now join me uh, in sleight of hand and uh, showmanship, an example here. So if you could hold your hand like this for me, if you don't mind. This is sound now. This is what we're going to do. We're going to play a game. And you'll be playing this game with the rest of the audience, so please do join us. Watch this carefully. Two of hearts. Don't take your eyes off it. What card is in your hand right now? Right, but, but. What do you think it is? Something different, right? <laughs> well, of course, I'm a magician, but uh, here's the thing. No, of course it's the two of hearts. I'm not that good, okay? It's still the two of hearts. There's only one card. It has to be the two of hearts. It couldn't be anything else. Oh, that's fine. Just building suspense. That's all I'm doing. Um, <laughs> But now that there's a two and there's a three, you have to focus on the two, not the three. Now it's truly a gamble. Okay, so what we'll do is this. Watch the two, don't watch the three. I'll be fair as I can. Who has the two? Good, good, but wrong. Uh, this is the three. There's our twos over here. So because there's so many people here, because there's so many people here, I'm going to have my, more cards for me and less cards for you. 
because it's more difficult. So here is the two. So watch the two, don't watch the threes, okay? Watch the twos. If I take the two now, watch carefully. If I take the two and I leave it in your hand, obviously I have to distract you now to take the two from you, right? But I would never say that unless I've already done it. So if you could turn that over, obviously that's uh, the three. Good. So we're going to slow this down. We'll slow this down. We'll slow this down. So keep your hand there. I'll slow this down for you. This time I'll give you one of the threes and you focus on the two. Watch the two. Can everyone see it? It's okay. Good. As you watch the two and you don't take your eyes off the two, you watch it go behind the three. What happens is, do you know what you lose track of? The card in your hand. <laughs> because this card over here, if you look back here, that's actually the three. Yeah, that's a little bit strange. Good, good, good. Okay, here's the thing. You guys can watch it in the video again if you want. Now watch this. This, the two here, goes in my pocket. Don't take your eyes off it. In my pocket. Is that fair? No, it's never fair. <laughs> but that's fine. We'll, we'll argue about that another time. Two threes in my hand. There's the first three. There's the second three. Two threes. What if I said to you, my hand's going to go up like this, into my pocket. I'm going to palm the two, switch the three for the two and the two for the three, and you won't see it. Would you be impressed? I've got to thank you. Good. <laughs> my fiance wasn't that easy. Um, so, uh, watch this very carefully. From, do you watch my right hand? Do you watch my left hand? My left is your right, my right is your left. But do you watch the pocket, the inside pocket, the cards here? Do you look at me? Never look at me because, uh, sorry, that's when it actually happens because you don't see it good. Because obviously my pocket has to be then the three. So this, this is a psychological game. So hold your hand like this. It's a psychological game for one reason. Which is, it's a, because, I mean, I let you win one game. Do you know why? It builds your confidence. You get more money, right? <laughs> but if you look carefully, it's not a game about uh, gambling. It's a point I'm trying to make. Because I use four cards, it's how I cheat. It's, it's up here, right? <laughs> now watch this, watch this. Don't take your, I'll be so fair, watch this. Watch, one, two, so fair. Watch, 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 three goes into my pocket. So fair, so fair. Now think about this, this is the million dollar question. What card do you think is in your hand? <laughs> no, have it, what do you think? Say whatever you like. What does everyone else think? Three, good, good, good. This is when I use reverse psychology. <laughs> so that's fine. Good, thank you. Now watch this. I do want you to win, because if I make you lose, then you won't like me and the rest of the presentation won't go well. So hold your hand like this. If I want you to win, I'll always give you the two. But I mean, do you really think I want you to win? I mean, of course not. No, but I said I want you to win. Okay? And this final one as well, if you watch carefully, watch carefully. I mean, how could you possibly lose when now you have a magician as your friend? Every single one, listen, the first one, the second one, and the third. Please give her a big round of applause. Thank you very much, Indonesia. Make your way down. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Good. So here's the thing. Um, you've now seen sound. How much more does that improve the magic? A lot more, right? It's not what you do, it's how you present it. So the last thing I'm going to show you, just via the camera as well, is called sync. It's when the sound doesn't sync with the sight, or when what you do doesn't sync with what you say. How bad that can be for magic. So for example, if you watch closely, um, if I take this coin here, as you can see it quite clearly, if I take the coin and I place it in my other hand here, what happens is, uh, sorry, I'll just make that disappear. Why wasn't that magical? Because all of you knew that it was in this hand. Because you could see me watching the other hand, even though I said I'm putting it into the other hand. There was an inconsistency. It wasn't synced. And as a result of it not being synced, you didn't believe me and the magic trick was shit. Okay? <laughs> so, now here's the thing. Now I'm going to dive into this era of sync a little bit more because I think it's, it's quite fascinating. Because you get sound, you get sight, now let's look at sync. And for this I need another person to join me. Uh, I do need a random person. So uh, what I'll do is... Paper ball. Throw this into the crowd. Somebody catch that? Good. Whoever, who caught that? Good, could you please join me on stage? Please give a big round of applause as she joins me on stage. Thank you very much indeed. Good, thank you. Oh, she sent her husband up instead. That's great. <laughs> Vin, how are you? You are... Uh, Baron. Baron, if you could please have a seat there for me. Baron, you can find a packet of cards just there on the table. And uh, I, want you to, I want you to have a look at the packet of cards. Please do take them. And look through all the cards for me if you don't mind. Make sure they're all different. Okay? Let me know once you've done that. Good. So now that you've seen they're all different, I want you to just take one of the cards that you want. And whichever one. Most men go for ace of spades. Don't become another statistic, Baron. Um, <laughs> just take a different card again, because that seems too easy. So please take a card you want, place it down towards the middle, in the middle of the table, and put the other rest of the cards aside. Let me know once you've done that. You've done that? Good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make quite a bold statement. I'm going to bet you the entire contents of my wallet that I'm going to be able to, through inconsistencies that you do, I'm going to be able to work out what that card is. And I did actually go to the ATM today and withdraw $1,000. Um, 
So I, I will put my money where my mouth is, even though it's against my cultural values and beliefs. Um, no, but I will do this. So listen, Baron, you stand to win $1,000. Baron, very simple instructions. The only thing you need to do at this point is you need to name the cards from ace through to king for me. So ace, two, three, four, five. Hold the mic. Thank you. And sorry, because I'm not a mind reader. Um, so just kind of ace through to king. Not too quickly, just at your steady pace. And go for it now. Two... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack, king, or queen, king. Okay, good. Okay. What this tells me is it's, it's a... Uh, okay. But did you see that in the beginning? Very confident start. Very confident start, went into it. And then towards the end, it was like... Uh, 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 slightly awkward and seemed a little bit constipated. Right? Oh. So, no, no, listen, this, this is true. What this... And the smile confirms, thank you. So what this tells me is that his card is probably the eight, nine, ten, or jack because it wouldn't have been the queen or the king, because he would have remembered it if it was, but he didn't because he became confused. Thank you for smiling. It actually confirmed it. Thank you, good. So here's the thing. Um, what I'm going to do now, Baron, is something very specific. Eight, nine, ten, or the jack. I'm going to accuse you and say things like, is it the eight? Is it the nine? Is it the ten? Each time, just say yes. Say yes every single time, okay? Because what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to create an inconsistent situation. Three of those times, you'll lie. One of them will be the truth. And don't, don't just go, yes. Say, like, yes! It is, Vin. I just conviction. Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> was it the eight? Yes. Was it the nine? Yes. Was it the ten? Yes. Was it the jack? Yes. Oh, yes. the uh, eight and the jack. <laughs> Lies, obviously. Um, you can tell your wife fully, bless your wife, she's fully thinking, oh, great, I can read him like a book. Um, it's good. So here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to write down what I think it is. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, good. And if you could just name any suit you like. Name a suit, anyone you like. Uh, the hearts. Good. People never name their own. Okay, so it's either the diamonds, clubs, or the spades. If you had to name another one knowing this now, what would you name? Top of your head. Uh, club. Okay, good. <laughs> I've, already, I've already written it down. Okay, please don't look at it. Uh, could, uh, listen, if I get close. <laughs> right? It's amazing. So I think it's pure genius if I could get it close. Uh, could you just turn around and uh, show everybody what it is? Uh, no, 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 show, show yours, show yours, um, um, obviously. And, oh, okay, okay, listen, listen, this is, an, I, I didn't expect this. Um, but of course I got it right, it was the Nine of Diamonds. Please give him a big round of applause if you can see that. I'll show you right there, Nine of Diamonds. Thank you so much, thank you, Baron, as you make your way down. Thank you so much, thank you. Brilliant, thank you. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. Here's the thing. Why did I go to all the trouble? Sorry, I just put the money in my pocket. Um, <laughs> here's the thing, here's the thing. Why did I go to all this extreme to prove to you sight, sound, and sync? I did it for a very specific reason. When you're being inconsistent with a magician, I think it's extremely entertaining and fun. But when, but when you're being inconsistent in life and your words don't match your actions, what happens? People don't trust you. In a relationship situation, she won't love you, he won't love you if they don't trust you, if you're inconsistent. To me, this is very, very important. If you're a leader and your people don't trust you, they will not follow you. I'll give you an example. A CEO I worked with, paint the picture, extremely difficult time in the, in the industry. He walks out on stage. I know we're going through a tough time. Um, I just want you to know I have the strategies to better get us through this. Okay, let's step away for a second. Don't laugh. I think it's very sincere and very authentic. But here's the thing. When I spoke to him after, I realized nobody in the room believed him. But here's the thing. This is the worst part. When I spoke to him, I go, what are your strategies? He told me them. I was like, wow, that's actually really good. And then I asked him, do you genuinely believe you can take them through this? He said, yes, Vin, I can. I know I can. He believed he could. And he knew how. But people didn't believe him because he didn't appear confident. He didn't sound confident. His, act his actions and his words didn't match. That's the thing. This is the even worse part. When I asked him, do you know what went wrong? And I played the video to him, he's like, yeah. He listed me everything that went wrong. I bet you, every single one of you in this room right now already has all the pieces of information you need to become a better presenter. Every single one of you. You already have the knowledge, you already have the information. You already got it. I'll prove it to you. You've seen speakers from many events and you sit there and you think to yourself, damn it, he's boring. <laughs> yep. Wow, that's just speaking so slowly. Crushing. Let me see your Facebook. 
right? You've done this, and you also know why it's boring, because the content has no relation to you. It doesn't, it's, not re- it's not relevant. Or you, know, you think to yourself, oh, God, I hate those pants, right? <laughs> Right, you, you, so you know what makes a good presentation. You genuinely know the slides have too many words. I'm confused. I don't know what to look at. You have the knowledge. But why do you never apply this knowledge to yourself? Why do you always apply it on others? You never apply it to yourself because of one reason. You've never seen yourself. Even when I give you the opportunity to see yourself, one of my friends, uh, Jeff, I said, Jeff, I've got a video of you. Do you want to see it? I can give you some tips. No, Vin, no, please don't show me. <laughs> you know how the video is put on 10 kilos? I hate that shit, man. No, don't do that. <laughs> No, don't, show, don't show me, Vin. And I hate the way I sound. That's not how I sound. I remember looking to Jeff very seriously and going, Jeff, you've actually put on weight. You're, I think you actually put on weight, man. And that's how you actually sound. The video camera doesn't lie. It shows you a true reflection of what others see. So you may already know, if you have the knowledge already, the only thing you're missing is the formula, and you've guessed the first part of the formula. It's record yourself. It's very specific here. Record a video of yourself, whether it's five minutes or ten minutes long. Once you've done that, leave it for a day. Don't watch it right away. You're too self-critical. Leave it for a day. On the day that you review it, the second day, the third day when you review this, very specific way about reviewing it. And what I spoke about at the start, sight, sound, sync. So when you watch it again, the first thing you do is uh, you turn it on mute. And then you press play. You get your notepad. And you watch yourself. How's my posture? Do you know what men do? When, pick on men. When men are on stage, when they get nervous, they go, they ask throughout the talk, they become more confident. Do you know what they do? <laughs> and they, they, they just get really crazy here. And people think, my God, what's happening in there? <laughs> right? No, I'm, I'm just doing this, obviously. No. But here's the thing. You watch yourself visually with the sight and you write down, how is my posture? Do I look confident? Do I look happy? Some people actually look really angry. Right? But you don't know until you look, actually watch yourself. Isolate the visuals, sight. Whole bunch of notes. The second time you watch this, it's actually quite, ex- quite easy. Turn up the volume, press play, and turn your back. And you listen to yourself. Is the content in which I'm delivering to the audience, does it add value? Am I using highly technical words that nobody understands? Do I sound like I'm confident? Is there tonality? You take a whole bunch of notes there as well, my friends. And then finally, you turn around, you press play again, you watch it one more time. This time, you watch it with sound and sight, and you are looking specifically for inconsistencies in what you're saying and doing. You imagine I came on stage, and I, I was really passionate about my voice, but not my body. I mean, imagine this. Oh, my God, I love guitars. I friggin' love guitars. Oh, my God. You're thinking, that guy is a freak. That guy, that's a freak, right? It's not consistent. So you write down all the inconsistencies, and you'll get a ton, I assure you. You already have, listen, you already have the knowledge. Every single one of you in this room has a smartphone. You already have the device to record yourself. You have everything you need. Now you have the formula. Record and review. When you review, sight, sound, sync. Simple. I'll leave you with a thought and then a quote that I've mashed together. Um, To a magician, the stage is an extremely sacred place. You do not go on stage just to inform. You go on stage to influence and inspire. And here's the quote that I'll leave you with. I believe that this stage is a place that is just like life. So in other words, life is just like a stage. And before you step on that stage every single morning, make sure you're prepared, make sure you're ready, and put on your best damn performance. Good luck, my friends. Thank you. So, huh? Huh? What do you guys think about the video? Tell me in the comment section below. Tell me what your thoughts are. Tell me what you think, if you liked it, if you hated it. Maybe keep it to yourself, but tell me either way. Tell me what you think. If you haven't already, 52 Cards, this channel right here is my new home, so make sure you subscribe and show me some love and aside some love as well. And the other thing is, for all your magic needs, guys, make sure you go to 52cards.com. I can't wait to get my new mints, the cards that Asad has created. Can't wait to get my hands on some of them. So Asad, make sure you send them to me. And also, guys, for my personal journey, those of you who want to join me as I travel around the world performing, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got a vlogging channel. And also, I've got a Facebook page too for more regular updates if you want to join me. Otherwise, guys, I see you again real soon. Take care. Have a great week. Bye.